Maya Kowalski is opening up about her painful medical condition and how accusations about her health led to her mother, Beata Kowalski's death by suicide. In this week's issue of People, the 17-year-old and her father, Jake, are detailing their painful story, which began in 2015 when Maya was nine years old. She began experiencing asthma attacks and headaches while lesions formed on her legs and arms and her feet began cramping and curling. She was eventually diagnosed with the rare neurological disorder, complex region pain syndrome, which according to the Cleveland Clinic, can cause constant or intermittent pain in the extremities. Maya was advised to undergo ketamine treatments, which seemed to alleviate her symptoms. But in 2016, she was rushed to the emergency room at Florida's Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital with crippling stomach pain. Her parents told the medical team that Maya had CRPS, and Beata, who was trained as a registered nurse, pleaded with doctors to administer a high dose of ketamine. But that request raised concerns among hospital staff who later alerted Child Protective Services. An investigative team later accused Beata of child abuse due to Munchausen syndrome by proxy, which according to Healthline is a mental disorder in which a caretaker of a child either makes up fake symptoms or causes real symptoms to make it look like the child is injured or ill. A court-ordered psychological evaluation eventually determined that Beata didn't have the mental illness, but less than a week after Maya checked into the hospital, she was placed in state custody and remained in the hospital away from her family for more than three months. And after more than 87 days without her daughter, Beata died by suicide in January of 2017 at the age of 43. In an email discovered after her death, she wrote, I'm sorry, but I no longer can take the pain being away from Maya and being treated like a criminal. I cannot watch my daughter suffer in pain. Five days later, Maya was released into her father's custody. The family has since filed a lawsuit against the hospital and a trial is scheduled for September, more than six years after Beata's death. Maya says, quote, for us as a family to move on, we need to fulfill my mom's wish and fight. She adds, I want justice for my mom. A spokesperson from the hospital would not comment on Maya's case, but shared a statement with people that says in part, our first responsibility is always to the child brought to us for care, and we're legally obligated to notify the Department of Children and Families when we detect signs of possible abuse or neglect.